September 11, 2001, 19 terrorists hijacked four planes and 2,977 innocent men and women lost their lives. And on this anniversary, we remember that day. 11 years old, 6th grade, 7th grade, something like that. Uh, I was in math class. September 11th, I was in junior high. September 11th, I was actually uh, currently in the Marine Corps at uh, Kanoe Bay. I was in 5th grade, Miss Berardi's class. It was, it was just put on the TV. They immediately turned it on and, and we had no idea what was happening. I was still a kid. I never even actually grasped what was going on, you know, and, and that this was happening. It was happening to us. I was on the range, I was in boot camp, about halfway through boot camp. The librarian came in and said that uh, the Twin Towers have been hit by two different planes and that the country was under attack. We, none of us really believed it for a while. I didn't see um, a picture in the newspaper, didn't see any footage of it until October 5th. I remember watching, looking up at the screen in the, in the top corner and watching the second plane hit the second building and, I, and at that time my, my teacher had kind of screamed out in fear, I guess. And I think at that point in time, we knew uh, September 11th was a, a deliberate attack on the United States. And I, live, I lived in the city, I lived close to Chicago, and I remember the eerie calmness. I live right, right next to the airport, actually. And I remember the eerie calmness driving home uh, of no planes, there's nobody on the road, no planes in the sky, which was really weird. I had always wanted to be in the military, and from that point on, I kind of felt like this was the turning point that I needed to go, and I needed to do that, and I needed to stand up for this. I would say the 9-11 had a big uh, effect on me joining the Marine Corps. It pissed me off, you know? I felt that it was my civic duty to kind of join up. I had a bunch of friends that went in that were part of the first push, and I felt it was my time to kind of replace them as they got out and uh, do my part in the action. September 11th happened when I was in basic training, and then I arrived at Fort Drum in January, and a month later I got sent with a couple other new soldiers to Pakistan for OEF. I didn't get to deploy until 2004, at which time I deployed to Fallujah, Iraq, and was uh, taking part in uh, the Second Battle of Fallujah. I deployed three different times, uh, twice via shipboard deployments, and then the third time was out to Afghanistan for a year. I was attached to, I was assigned to 3rd Battalion, 4th Marines. I deployed to Afghanistan in 2011, and then a second time in 2013. We're not going to sit unresponsive. We're not going to, you know, sit quiet and take this, you know. We're not going to lay down and be beaten. September 11th would forever change the course of history. It would mark the longest war the United States has been involved in. Over the course of the next 15 years, 6,887 American service members would lose their lives in defending our freedom. Well, I was glad to go over there and do, do my service, but uh, you always want to be able to do more. To all those who have sacrificed and to their families, we remember. Mm -hmm.